Hello there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we are going to talk about the weak name function within the ClickSense. So weak name function helps us identify in which week we are in or manipulate if we want to move back and forth. So weak name over here date and an optional period number parameter and another optional first week day is the three parameters that it accepts. So what we have uh, is basically if I go back a very simple invoice data. Let's say we want to identify in which week the invoice has come. So in that case, what I'll do is simply create one table load star to load all the columns, which is invoice ID and invoice date load star, which is invoice ID and invoice date and then say week name function and I will simply specify the INV date as WK name and resident is basically this stamp table from which we are referencing it and that's pretty much it what you need to do and since all of the fields are here in this table we don't need this table so we were going to drop the table drop table stamp table save it hit the load button now the data is loaded come to analysis and over here in the table add the dimension so first dimension is invoice state and now let's add its respective week name by going to add column add dimension and click on the week name so what it uh, gives you is basically as you can see the format that first it is the year and then what week it is right so for example uh 28th of march is basically the 12th week so yes uh, generally in a quarter you have 12 slash 13 week so it sounds good uh, this is uh, fifth fab so this is 2019 and uh, fifth week so first four week will be in jan and fifth week will be in the fab so that's why you are getting fifth but let's say you want that uh, whatever week it is you want the next week let's say you want to specify the processing time for this and maybe one week time is what you get uh what you want what you want to give so what you can do is simply say comma one this will going to increase the weeks time so load data close come to analysis so now earlier you could see that this was 2019-05 but now it is 2019-06 so we have moved one week ahead based on the current date if you want to move back well you just need to do minus one right so hit the save button load the data close it and then you have moved from 06 to 04 so 04 is one week prior to current week current week is 05 and one week from the current week is 06 so i've shown you all the three ones and similarly you can go as as many uh, back and forth or as long back and forth you want uh, but one more thing i would uh, like to tell you is uh, so over here if we specify zero that will indicate the current week and uh, for zero if we say let's say the current day is starting or our first working day is starting on Tuesday or Wednesday then we have to specify the parameter over here so if I just hit the save come to analysis you have the first week day as a parameter so 0 indicates Monday 1 indicates Tuesday so if our week in our country let's say week is starting on Tuesday then we can just specify 1 right but if week is starting on Monday, then you don't have to specify anything. It will be considered as zero. Like it was considered zero over here when I just closed the invoice date earlier in the first statement. So one and uh, hit the save button and load data. Close, come to analysis and you will see that uh, some dates have been shifted. So, for example, if I just go back to data just to show you uh, the change, comma, this, what if, if we had, so this is like our default value, like zero is something you don't have to specify, but since I am specifying the one, which is the start of the day, I have to specify zero, but uh, 
weak name over here basically indicates comma zero comma zero so if i don't specify zero it will take all the default value so save load all right uh it has given me the error let me see it again uh field name must be unique within the table and uh weak name okay two that is it so two different columns close come to analysis select the table add one more dimension this time week name two so now week name two what do you have is zero five uh, in this case 30 so what may be happening in case of uh, fifth fab is that maybe day was starting on fab uh, sorry on the monday but what we took is that my week is starting on the tuesday in this case so that's why it has moved on to zero six so this sort of uh, you know manipulation you can do with the help of the second and third parameter if you want to specify wednesday then two or three for thursday four for friday and so on and so forth so this is something i wanted to show you for the manipulation of weeks into the click sense and uh, get the desired value out by the help of uh, the week name function so that's pretty much about it and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic